Hello, I'm Helen reinecke wilt of Arlington County's Initiative to Rethink Energy and Green Home Choice Program. You're about to watch one of a series of videos we call How to Build a Better Home, the story of the construction of a passive house. We hope you'll find some useful tips about making your home greener and more cost efficient, whether you're building a new home or simply upgrading your present one. Here's green home builder Patty Shields of Metro Green with today's tips on wall construction and insulation. It's about lowering your energy bills. Consume less energy and water. We take up a less carbon footprint. More comfortable. Super quiet. You will reap the rewards for the life of the home. I think it'd be great if people see homes like this and think about green design when they're building a home. Green, and we're going to talk about uh, passive house building construction now, the wall construction. What, what's really important in wall construction for a passive house and really any house is the thickness of the wall and making sure it's well insulated. This house here is a 2x4 constructed wall. It's got another 2x4 on the outside, which gives us a total depth of 10 inches. In 1940, 1960, and 1970, from Maine to Florida, we built our houses just out of two by fours. Okay? There's no difference. In fact, today we often build our houses just out of two by fours. Whether you're in Maine or Florida, we're building it the same way. But we don't have the same heating and cooling needs we do in Maine, as in Florida, as in North Carolina, as we do here in Virginia. We were always building our furnaces and our mechanical systems to meet that size of the house and the needs of the house with this two by four construction. With passive house, you, we're, we're flipping that around and we're saying, let's build the envelope or the wall of the house to meet the mechanical system instead of build the mechanical system to meet the construction or envelope of the house. In Virginia, based on en energy model, we've determined that 10 inches is the ideal uh, wall depth for a passive house wall. In North Carolina, it might be eight inches. In Maine, it's 14 inches. So here we have built two construction, two walls. The inside is a two by four. The outside is a two by four, and they're separated by a few inches of space. These are actually 3.5 inches um, with additional uh, few inches of space in between to give us that full 10 inches. What this space does is this gives us what's called a thermal break meaning that no heat or cold is being conducted from the exterior of the house through the wood all the way to the interior. Instead, we're putting insulation here that takes care of that and makes sure that we don't conduct that heat or cold to the interior of the house. This is a pretty simple way to build. It's affordable and cost effective. And um, what a homeowner can do today, Green Home Choice Program uh, and uh, Energy Star, what they're promoting is going to a two by six stud and putting uh, foam on the exterior of the house. But this is also another affordable way to build a house that gives you that kind of insulation value that Green Home Choice, Energy Star, and, and indeed Passive House are looking for. When we were framing the house, I showed you we were doing a double wall construction and you can see that here. Uh, but now you can't see the double wall because, of course, we have it packed with insulation. So here we have 10 inches of dense pack cellulose. Uh, cellulose is, dense pack cellulose is, is essentially recycled material, newspaper or other sorts of products, um, that gets blown into, first they put this netting on the wall, and then they uh, blow in uh, this cellulose to a certain density, uh, 3.5 um, pounds in this case. And so we have 10 inches of uh, dense pack insulation here, uh, which provides us in roughly an R38 uh, wall assembly. Code compliant is R13, I believe. So you can see this about three times what you would have in a normal house built today. Another point on insulation, when you're constructing a house, in between each floor you have the floor joists, and the, that's these here. And the problem when you're insulating the house is normally you insulate between these, uh, these studs, 
but how are you going to address in between the floors? And so we address that in most houses and most modern applications today, your insulator or your builder will suggest putting in foam, spray foam, at the band joists of the house. And the band joists are what we call those things that, that run around the rim of the house at each floor. And all of this is foamed all the way out to the outer edge of the house, providing a, a, quite a bit of insulation, make, making sure that entirety, entire cavity is full and maximizing our insulation on the bands. In a lot of older houses, there is no insulation at all in these locations. Thanks for watching. This is Patty Shields with Metro Green Home Builders. Join us again next time for another segment on how to build a green home. Thank you. If you would like more information on the Green Home Choice Program, please visit our website at arlingtonenergy.us slash greenhomechoice or call us at 703-228-4792. For the Air and Green Home Choice Programs, I'm Helen Reinecke-Wilt.